Hi guys, Bleach here, out here uh, working on the Macy. I uh, pulled the fuse out, you can see that. But, you can see that it, it is uh, still good, it's not broken. I put a new 30 amp fuse in there, so it will crank over. I uh, tried uh, jumping the starter. It just uh, stays stationary, it does not move. So I don't think my solenoid's the problem. I think I should uh, go with the uh, starter, take it off or clean it, see if I can get it to engage. I have no idea how to get to it and get it off, or it comes off from. I'll have to take the uh, cover off here and I'll try to get to it, which is kind of fun because the way these circumstances are, the uh, throttle linkage or the looks like the governor is right there into the. Uh, throttle there, or the governor, I'm not sure if that's the, uh, no, this is the governor over there, but somehow it's linked into the cover right there, so I'm going to take it off, so what I'll probably do, instead of just taking all that stuff off there, making it worse for now, because I'm not handy, when I, when it warms up, when we, in spring, I'll, uh, take this engine off, I'll, uh, move it forward, and try to get to that, uh, starter, um, I may need a starter, guys. And those are a pricey part for these Tecumsehs. Might have to go with just another engine if the starter becomes too uh, pricey. But I'm going to just leave this fuse. I'm going to put it right uh, there with this screwdriver I was trying to engage the uh, solenoid with. And I bought a solenoid in the mail, guys. I uh, got on Amazon for like six dollars and 72 cents for shipping I lucked out it's a three post much like this antique one in here but I think this solenoid is so good because it's like it doesn't click or anything but it sparks and um the starter I think I should have addressed when it warms up in the spring but uh, right now I'm gonna go in my garage I uh, found this here I'm sure they know what it is it appears to be coming off the frame it might be some kind of ground or something I uh, tried to ground it to the uh, tractor so it would not start. But uh, right now I'm going to go and work on the uh, Dois Alice 613 tractor. Guys. February 18th, back in the garage, guys, 2017. We'll be needing that today. It's like 55 degrees. Um, I think I'll play rocking tunes in here. I just want to get in and out of here. I'm going to try to adjust the carburetor. If I can get in through there with that push mower so it, uh, it all works on choke. And we're also going to um, fix the uh, throttle and try to get it to hook, which I'll have to uh, climb through there to do, which is fun. And I can move this uh, push mower back and um, move this to the side. These tires seem to hold up pretty good. This is the tire I was talking about in my live video that I kind of chipped the sidewall and cut a piece of wire off of it. Look at that, this hard as a rock, it's pretty good. So let's get to it guys and you generally when you want to wire up lights to your tractor you want to leave the wires hanging out and I tried to fish them in there guys to make it work. Generally guys I should uh, be uh, doing this in the spring I can just get this thing out of the garage and work on it outside the garage but I like being in the garage and um let's get something going. Guys I got a little bit straighter I got that bend out of it almost it looks kind of straight. Oh, we got a new problem, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you bet the uh, throttle all the heck, guys. Throttle bent back, I believe. I had a little trouble with this clip. It's a little wonky. I don't know what I'm doing. I hope someone else does. Like a ghost in my shop or something, if I know what I'm doing. I got kind of tired of that Z-Bend thing, and I was trying to, to fix it to use the Z-Bend, because that's the way it is. But what I did is I uh, cut it with my wire cutters. I don't want to take it apart, but you'll get the idea. I cut the Z-Bend tip off with my uh, wire cutters, and I just bent it. Like, I made a hook like that, and I uh, hooked it in there. It's a little stiff. Yeah, uh, gets the job done. I gotta go. Or dumb, I'm dumb. I gotta go. I'll come back and adjust the carb, so stay tuned. Guys, uh, Bleach here. It's that time of year where the MTD starts the melt. The snow around it and you can see a little grass on the plow. <laughs> There's a spray bottle I was using to clean the mowers. Somehow it got smashed on the way to the snow. 
But I'm about to go in the garage. I guess I'm going to finish the video. I do have hope for this MTD. Rather it's a stuck pulley or I'll put a transmission in it. Another engine. I just don't like being it out here. Because it's my uh, first lawn tractor. And it's exposed to the elements guys. So let's go into the garage shall we. Remember those tomato plants I had? <laughs> you can see the, uh, the remnants of them in there. I was just kind of weary to eat them. A friend gave me the plants and I never really grew anything outside. And it just, I didn't use any pesticides or anything in it. No, uh, rather to uh, eat them or not. So I had some from the store. There's a really, really nice uh, sheet of ice out here i got to be careful of. We'll go flying. Whee! Here we go. Wee! There we go. Uh-oh. 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 Alright. Take a walk with me, guys. Open into the garage. I'm going to just vlog or something. Um, yeah, the live video I had to go uh, early last night. I'm kind of sorry, guys. Sorry. But, um, I'll, I'll do a live video soon. When the snow melts, um, I'll go live on my, uh, webcam out, uh, side there of um with the push mowers and stuff outside the house yeah i feel like a freaking got the paparazzo after me and there's someone just following me with a cam but yeah let's go in the garage just look how muddy it is here i can go mud and now with the hydro green tractor though all right let's see here i'm just going in now Good way to keep things. <laughs> I got it so cramped in here, guys. I could uh, only get to one spot to adjust it. I got to get some of this stuff out of here. The green thing's going. Uh, the 525 and the uh, buried simplicity over there. Yeah, it's a mess, but it's an organized mess at least. So what am I going to do while I listen to Carrie, Katy Perry is uh, adjust this. I was going to come in here and get my uh, jump pack to bring it in the house because I don't like them in cold temperatures. But yeah, Kenny Perry could have the money off my uh, video, I don't care. But I'm just going to adjust the, uh, this, uh, where is it, that screw right there that's on below the uh, flow bowl, which you can't really see, or the fuel pump. And I'm going to see if I can start it with the choke, I'm going to button it up. And then the next thing to do would be to put the tire on there. Um, as you can see, they ship these tires. They put like a, a dip in there and they're hard to get on there. Now I'm going to have to get another tube. Technically those Craftsman tires would have worked. But I just wanted the um, big tires to work on here. Soon guys, soon we'll get this uh, snapper going again. I have uh, yet to hook up the throttle to the engine and get it working, so it'll be a day we'll do that. There's, I don't know if you can see it, I want to show it, but there's such a comps to cover over there. I wonder if that would actually convert the, um, the, the uh, Macy into a pull start, something to look into. But that Macy, uh, I'm going to take the engine off of it, I'm going to put it on my bench, I'm going to work, build the carburetor, try to fix the starter. In a future video. Well, guys, at least, I don't know. Um, my jump pack is dead. I fully charged it. It got cold in here last night. I knew I should have brought it in the house. It must have messed with the battery. I had it almost running on choke and wanted to start, and then it didn't want to kick in because the jump pack was uh, near dead. What I really should do. It's got a good battery instead of this jump pack. Is I think it's either it's not really the jump pack. I think the uh, the battery is just drawing too much of the jump pack's power because the battery is just freaking flatlined. It's dead. So what I should try to do is charge the jump pack and uh, charge the battery. So yeah. And hopefully I can uh, reach the battery charge over where this is. But, yeah, I love that song, Love with Stefani. But, look at it, I just charged it, and uh, it says it's fully well, charged, and I don't understand. It does not want to kick in. I wonder if this thing it seems, I wonder if it's caught on something underneath. 
It could be a uh, hydro locked again. Just let me look at this stuff. I mean, we'll end the video. Guys, this is just awesome. A jump pad that was fully charged. Won't kick it in the gear. And I'm charging the uh, POS dead battery. So uh, stay tuned for more. I'll probably come back Thursday if uh, not today. Today is Sunday. I'm just going to leave this stuff plugged in. I really should get a trickle charger for my batteries, guys. I am really freaked out, guys. I'm still in the garage. I'm still charging stuff. Can you see that right there? Right where my finger is trying to point to it. Looks like I got a freaking hornet's nest in here. I am hoping it's dormant because I just don't want freaking bees and shit flying at me during the spring. I have no idea how to get in there and knock it down. And it's rather large. I uh, never noticed it in here before. And it kind of freaks me out. I saw hornets and stuff and bees flying in here uh, once in a while. I'm hoping it's old. You can see it right there. I'm looking at a vi uh, small video screen. You can uh, where my finger is going. Like you can see the like the brown right there in the corner of the board. I'm gonna start throwing shit at it, trying to get it down. I don't know. I don't know if there's hornets in it or not. I don't want to get stung. I'm hoping the cold just kills them and they go elsewhere. I think I'm going to start cutting the tire off of the sky so I listen to Katy Perry. I tried to get that snap ring on it, I'm just too lazy to take it off there. I uh, lost the other uh, snap ring from over there. i got to find one. Hopefully you can hear me okay with the tunes. Oh my god, you hear that song? I've not heard that since my childhood. So 80s, guys. So 80s. Oh my god, you hear that guys? I just love Prince. Sad he passed away. <laughs> we got a little problem here. I started to cut it, but my blades are gonna dull. I have this uh, dollar store uh, lead paint china crowbar thing. And like, why not watch it in there to uh, strike the bead on the tire? And I'm too lazy to get my jack. If I get it started enough, I'm gonna go get my jack. And I'm just gonna try to take this off the bead instead of cutting it. The way, kind of Ray taught me how to do this when he had his tire irons. I cannot find the tire iron I kept of his. I don't know where it is in the garage. The garage ate it. I would be using it on this if I had it. So what I got is, uh, yeah, <laughs> this uh, carburetor screwdriver from the dollar store. So yeah, I'm going to listen to Prince and rock out and get this stuff. It's about, uh, quarter to two, not sure if you can see that or not. Just sitting here listening to Lady Gaga. Trying to get this tire off. Uh, looking for the pliers. I just had my yellow pliers. Yeah, I take this battery out because I don't want to be pounding around in there. My god, Lady Gaga's pounding in my ears. So they're uh, disco music. Well, our dance music. I'm going to take the battery out, uh, put it over on the track to charge it. I'm going to try and break this thing from the bead, or at least get it off the bead. Uh, the less cutting, the more, less work, the more less pain I'll be in. So much uh, stuff in here, guys. It's getting weird. It's like stuff I need magically appears. So I got this muffler here. It's facing this way, and I'm like looking through my uh, stuff. And holy crap, I got a muffler right there I can use on this, uh, uh, on this, uh, snap rover here. It's a little loud, and it was, uh, welded there, but I'm going to use that so the, uh, muffler does not, uh, blow onto my key switch there, guys. I'm just going to rock out the Gaga. Freaking, uh. 80s prom disco here, or whatever it is, but I got this uh, stand from Ray. He was going to toss it out and scrap it. He uh, got rid of it because it's got a bend in it. He's got the other one over there. Of course, he won't let me have that. But I'm just going to use this as a jack stand. Hopefully, this is safe. I probably should have something uh, over here or something. I'll just be really careful. I don't want to um, uh, put this thing on the side and hydro lock the engine again now that it runs. Oh god, I love Beyonce. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Alright, see you soon. I did not think there was a tube in here. I could have probably uh, saved this tube, but yeah, it's got a screwdriver th through it, so I cost money. Myself money. Huh. I could get a patch kit and patch it, it might be a little cheaper. 
hopefully it's just got that one hole in it and I can patch the tube and uh, still use it. I used to patch uh, bicycle tubes. I gotta get that out of there. Hope the fucking it uh, put any other holes in it. Now you can patch that tube and test it to see if it holds air. So this is really bad. I'm thinking this tire didn't really hold air because there's pissing. Look, there's pissing water out there. I gotta be careful to get that on me. I decided to still cut the treads. I'm too lazy. I meant to get up an uh, electrical uh, tape, this knife, because when I do cut, the blade goes back inside it. And what's great about these is you can flip the blade and still get use out of them. Oh yeah, it's just peeing out of there. What I'm trying to do now is cut as much as this out and try to save this tube without cutting my fingers. And it's just having a little accident and it pissed itself because it doesn't know what I'm doing to it, the poor thing. Of course, I'm kidding, guys. This was probably a good tube. The problem was that I messed with the valve needle, I think, to try and put it in that other tire to see if it would fit. So I'm going to put a new valve needle in this, and I see uh, one hole here where uh, Moroni uh, punctured it, and another one there. We're going to get a patch kit on eBay or at Walmart if you can even find tire patch kits anymore. I don't know if people patch tubes anymore. It's kind of a forgotten art. I don't know. I haven't patched a tube in years. What I remember is you got a little uh, sandpaper thing, like a piece of metal, like a cheese grater. You clean the area. And you patch it. I patched tubes before, but they didn't last very good. But this is kind of a bigger tube, so it should work. I had to clean it up. And what I'm going to do is uh, duct tape all the holes and just uh, pump it up. And I'll put a valve stem in it. Oh, God. What I worry about is, um, it's leaking from the, uh, valve needle. Is that another hole? It's got some, uh, weird bubble there. I think that's an indentation from where the, uh, thing was in the rim over the years. Oh, God, I hope that doesn't get cut, too. I may have to, uh, patch that. I don't know. Should be okay. I'll, uh, be really careful when I put it on. But this thing pissed all over. My legs and feet are soaked. I'm going to end it here. It's Sunday, about 2.30. I may play around with this tube for a minute. My freaking finger is bleeding, and it's getting all kinds of dirt and, uh, shit in it. This had a bunch of water in this tire. No wonder why it wouldn't hold air. Because it had a slow leak and when you leave this shit outside it gets water in it. Uh, I'm going to have to, you see that over there? That's for uh, Moron. He left uh, starter fluid in the back of it and uh, tipped the tractor on its side and um, messed it up. I love that song from the 80s. Well, I'm going to sand that down with my uh, grinder and paint it make it look nice. That's, that's really nice. This is the tube. It's now filled with water. I have a fix for that. I'm going to blow it out with my air compressor and dry it before I do the patches. Or uh, my uh, metro dryer for like a uh, motorcycle paint drying and a uh, dog drying too for pets.